Uh, it was because my it was my environment. I, I lived in um, Palolo Valley in Hawaii. Uh, at fourth grade, my my Japanese friends went to Japanese school to learn the language. Next door to the Japanese school was a judo dojo. And while we were working for Jeffrey Tanaka, my buddies and I used to watch the judo classes until a sensei came up, gave us a judo gi, an extra judo gi, said you can, you can come in if you wash your feet, because we were barefooted those days in Hawaii. And that's how I started my judo. For a whole year, I was going to judo class, and when my friend Jeffrey <coughs> finished his Japanese class, we all walked home together. And my family moved to another uh, district in, in Honolulu. They had a boxing gym about a mile away. And my friends went boxing, and of course, you know, you go with your friends, and I stopped boxing from 10 till about 13. And my family moved and bought their first home um, in Waipahu. My cousins uh, lived in the same area, and they were taking Kajakembo. And that's how I started in Kajakembo. Until I finished high school, I went to California for my uh, university. There weren't any good schools that I liked. Uh, it wasn't like how we trained in Kajakembo in Hawaii. So I started boxing again until 1964. Ed Parker, who was a friend of mine, um, said that he was going to have his first international karate tournament. And we went over to the tournament to support him. There I saw Bruce Lee and my whole life changed, my whole martial arts changed, meeting Bruce Lee. Well, in Hawaii, because we know he was a Kajakimbo from um, the Karaho. It was Professor Chow, William Chow, turned with them. And so we used to interchange with uh, Professor Chow's students, and Professor Chow's first student was Adrian Imperato, and who is the, the founder of Kajakimbo. And so we used to circle with each other, and, and we knew who each other was. And when I came to California, he had his school in Pasadena. And um, um, that's when uh, we were, I would live in down South Bay, which is about 30, 45 minutes away from where he's at. But the, the word got out that he was put in his first tour tournament, and all the guys from Hawaii, the martial arts, went over to support him. I was one of them. It, it was um, one of the first tournaments. Um, it was Nishiyama who did the first karate. It was way back in 61 or 62 at the Olympic Auditorium. This, this is style karate. And I think it was uh, Kyokan Shinkai karate. I'm not sure. And then Ed Parker had the international, all forms of martial arts. I remember seeing the martial arts and I thought, I thought, you know, we've seen all this. You know, I know what they were going to do and until Bruce Lee came on, on stage and it was something i never seen before. Explosive speed, uh, powerful. He did this uh, chi zhao sensitivity. Uh, he did his um, uh, reaction type drills that i never seen before. And his one inch punch. I got so I said, holy crap, if we could just learn this one-inch punch, you don't have to know anything else. It was awesome. <laughs>